Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we're going to be using surfaces to create silhouettes. Let's roll the introduction and get right into it. <laughs> So before we get into anything, let's check out the demo code that you can download in the description below. We have a single room and this room has two different instance layers and this is very important. The first layer is just going to be the wall so everything can hide bes uh, behind it. And then the second layer is going to be all of the coins that are spinning behind that particular wall. So if I actually load up the demo as it just starts up, you can see we're not drawing any silhouettes and that's what we're gonna accomplish by using surfaces. Let's return to the code and we'll close our room and we wanna open up the wall object here. We have a create event and then a draw event and they're both empty and this is where we're gonna handle everything to do with the surface and also the silhouettes. Now, when working with surfaces, they are volatile. That means that if you resize your window, maximize, minimize, you do something with the surface itself in the game, there's a chance that your surface is gonna be destroyed and your game could crash. So we wanna make sure that that doesn't happen. So what we'll do is create a variable called surface box and set it to negative one. And this will hold all of our surface information. Now inside the draw event, we could check to see if our surface already exists. And if it exists, and we don't want to create it, but if it doesn't exist because it's been destroyed, then we need to create something. And we can do this with a simple if statement, basically saying, does our surface exist, true or false? And inside the false is where we're going to have to create this particular surface. Now we would normally create a surface by using the create command, which would give us the width and height, which we would use for the sprite. But inside our room, I actually took the sprite itself, which is pretty small. Now I've dragged it out a little bit, so it's a little bit bigger. So that means that we're gonna have to use the B box right, left, and top and bottom in order to get the width and the height. So I'll create a width variable using the right minus the left, and I'll also create a height variable using the bottom minus the top. This means in the surface create command, we'll pass in the width and we'll pass in the height. And this needs to be returned or placed into our surface box to hold all of this surface data. So I'm going to put a little preview up in the corner here of just what's running right now, because we're going to have some code changes and we'll see how things work on the fly. So what we need to do is determine the items that we collide with. Now this code is pretty much straight out of the manual. So I'm going to just explain it as I go. The first thing we need to do is create a list. We're going to create a DS list. And that means that at the very end of our function, we also need to do a DS list destroy or else we could run into memory problems where we are creating lists and we're not destroying. And then our user's memory will just fill up and our game will crash. Next thing we need to do is we need to detect the coins that our wall has collided with. We could use a rectangle list here so this is a collision rectangle list and it will take the uh, x position so left top right bottom so that's drawing a rectangle we're going to look for the object coin no we don't want any precise collisions we're going to remove the wall itself we're going to pass everything into this ds list and finally we don't care about the order we just want all of the instances that our wall has collided with this function will return the number of instances it collided with into a variable. So for optimization purposes, what we could do is we could only care if the number of objects that we collided with is bigger than zero. So we can do this by saying if the number is bigger than zero, then we're going to do something with the surface. Otherwise, we'll come in and we'll just save ourselves the hassle and we'll just draw the particular wall. So if I actually save this right now in the uh, lower right hand corner, uh, what will happen is once we get some collisions going, we will not be shown the wall. And that's simply because we're inside this portion of the if statement, uh, technically this one, and we're not drawing anything. So obviously the wall is not going to be there. Your wall might flicker once in a while because it will hit the other else statement. But so now that we know that we have collided with something, let's actually set up the surface so we can draw. So the first thing we need to do is tell GameMaker to change the surface. Instead of drawing everything to what's called the application surface, which is what we see at the end, we're gonna draw on that new surface. So think of this as a sprite so that we can draw whatever technically we want here. 
once we set the target, we need to make sure that we always reset that target in order for our game to continue working. Now, what we need to do next is basically just draw our wall. So think of this as the walls going to be painted first and then the silhouettes on top. So in order to draw our wall, we actually need a draw sprite and we are going to use the extended version here. I'm gonna separate mine out, but you can see the parameters at the bottom. So we're gonna take the sprite index, the image index. So this is basically just drawing the wall and we're using all of the different values that we had. The only thing that's gonna be different is the X position we want at zero and the Y position we want at zero. Because whenever we draw on a surface, the origin or the anchor, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be at the top left instead of wherever it might be on your particular sprite here. So this sprite, I actually have it at the top left, but you could move this around. But whenever we draw to a surface, it's always going to start at zero, zero. So what I'll do is I'll just finish this out by using the scale image X, image Y scale, the angle, the color will be white, and then the alpha will be one. So even though I can save my code, we're not actually drawing anything yet. We need to come down and we need to draw this particular surface so that Game Maker will actually draw it to our user. So we'll pass in the surface box, which is a variable that holds all of the information. And our anchor point is B box left and B box top. So now when I save this, our little preview should update and we have basically what we started with here. Now, let's switch to the collisions again because we know we already have collisions how do we go about looping through these collisions and drawing the silhouettes well we can do this with the force statement and we want everything to happen after we draw our wall so we'll come down a bit here and we're going to loop through a number of different things so this is going to be the number of things that we collided with to make things simple i'm going to extract any of the instances in our list into a variable called instance now we need to figure out the x and y position relative to where the sprite has made contact with our box don't worry this is actually pretty easy we'll create a variable for xx and this is basically just going to be the position of our instance uh, b box left or sorry b box right minus b box left which is our wall so we're taking the right side of our coin minusing the left side of our wall and then we need the width of our coin so this is going to be the instance b box right minus instance b box left now this will give us the x position but for the y position anywhere that we have b box right this is going to be b box bottom and anywhere that we have B box left, this will be B box top. We'll just copy and paste these in going down the lane. And now we have an X and a Y position. The next thing to do is going to be to actually draw the coin. So to save some time, I'll just come up here and I'm gonna copy this draw spray extended version here. I'll come back down and paste it in. Now, obviously, if we leave it as is, we're going to be drawing the wall. So we need to prefix the items with the instance here. So we'll continue on. And now for the X and Y position, we'll pass in XX and YY. And then instead of using a color of C white, I want to use a color of C black. Now, this is going to loop through all of the instances of that coin and then draw them as a silhouette. When I save, you can see on the bottom right, we now have some silhouettes going. Now, if I change this to full screen, what we'll see is some of the coins being right on the side and they're being drawn correctly as half the coin can be a silhouette and half of it could be a regular coin. So hopefully you can see with just a little amount of code, it's pretty easy to set up silhouettes. If you want to take optimization a little bit further, well, you could extract some of the things from your draw event into your step event, maybe not run your collision 60 times a second. You could uh, mod it by two to run it in half. There's a whole bunch of different things that you could do, but hopefully you can see how easily this was done and I hope to see it in your next game. Thanks a lot. Once again, thank you all for watching. I'd like to thank the Patreon members in no particular order. Midnight, Bear, Anton, Ashby, Victor, and Game Maker community. Everyone, once again, thanks for watching the video. If you like what you've seen, subscribe, hit that like button, and don't forget to leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video.